Hi fellas, this is Kemadi again to the solution. Welcome back to my other video tutorial. Well, today we're gonna solve a um, rate equation problem. Okay, rate equation related problem. So let's read the question. So previously we have uh, been solving the question, this question, uh, where iodine and propanone react in the presence of an aqueous acid catalyst as follows. So I will put a link to those videos at the end of this video tutorial. So please be sure to check them out. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna put those uh, link of the video tutorials at the end of this lesson. Okay. So I have provided this solution solution of this question part by part okay in order uh, for so that it would be easier for to uh, easy it would be easier it would be easier for you to follow okay so let's get started so here in the it says uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate stops the reaction by neutralizing the acid catalyst okay so the question asked give the ionic equation for the reaction between sodium hydrogen carbonate and acid well at first let us read the information that is given over here okay so to determine the rate equation for this equation uh, sorry to determine the rate equation for this reaction propanone is reacted with iodine in the presence of aqueous hydrochloric acid at constant temperature Samples are withdrawn at known times, quenched with sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, and the iodine remaining titrated with a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate. Okay. The rate equation is given over here. The rate equation for the reaction is this. Okay. So, what we have done here, we have reacted propanone with iodine. Okay. So, at first, what we have done so we we have reacted this thing and st start our clock okay start our time timer start our timer then we have one by one uh, for a particular in interval for for a particular time interval we have quenched this whole mixture whole solution mixture into sodium hyd hydrogen carbonate solution okay in a different conical flux. So what is happening? The re whole reaction is stopped over here. Since uh, aqueous hydrochloric acid is acting as a catalyst, okay. Since this is a catalyst, okay, aqueous hydrochloric acid is catalyst. So if we remove this catalyst, the re reaction won't carry out. Okay, the reaction won't happen. Okay, so it is. Uh, impossible to reaction to proceed since there is no catalyst okay. so here uh, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate uh, and from another, uh, some other things uh, so here hydrogen ion is been completely removed so there is no catalyst and the reaction won't proceed okay the reaction stopped completely so this is how it occurs so in here so in here they have asked that they have said sodium hydrogen carbonate stops the reaction by neutralizing uh, the acid catalyst okay so give the ionic equation for the reaction between sodium hydrogen carbonate and uh, acid so let's do let's do it so if so, sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with acid so the ionic equation should be like this something like H plus aqueous plus sodium hydrogen carbonate so in sodium hydrogen carbonate the so in here sodium ion would be spectacle ion spectator ion so we will leave leave it like that we, we won't write sodium ion in this equation in this ionic equation so what we will write here is 
hydrogen carbonate we will write this anion okay we will write this um, h c o 3 minus so h c o 3 minus aqueous okay it gives us something like water which is liquid plus carbon dioxide gas okay so in here uh, in here h plus from acid this comes from acid reacting with this base okay so reacting with this um, hydrogen carbonate which which comes from the base sodium hydrogen carbonate to form water plus carbon dioxide well you might ask that why shouldn't we use sodium hyd hydroxide since it is a strong base okay why not we are not using sodium hydroxide since it is a strong base okay so since uh, sodium hydroxide is a strong base it will react with this uh, propanol and iodine to form side reactions there will be side reactions okay uh, before it reacts with hydrogen ion before it reacts with hydrogen ion it will react rather it will react with the propanol and iodine okay so side reaction will occur so we don't expect side reaction to occur okay so that's why we are using much weaker base that is sodium hydrogen carbonate so if we use sodium hydroxide it will rather react with propanol and iodine uh, beside H plus M so sodium hydrogen carbonate won't react with H plus ion from acid uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate won't, won't react with the acid beside it will react with the reactant so side reaction may occur so if we use sodium hydroxide okay it will occur side reaction so we we don't want side reaction to occur okay occurring side reactions okay side reaction so this is it so that's why we are not using sodium hydroxide since it, it is a strong base number one and second of all it will occur side reaction which we don't want okay so that's why we are using sodium hydrogen carbonate well you might say that why why shouldn't we write ha instead of h plus well well tell us there is one thing to say that don't involve ha suppose uh, don't write ha okay instead of this thing so since uh, well don't write this ha instead of here instead of writing h plus okay don't write ha instead of h plus that's because uh, h ha doesn't confirm that this this is this this is in aqueous form so it doesn't confirm that uh, ha is not in aqueous form or it doesn't form h plus ions okay so it doesn't confirm that acid is aqueous whether acid is aqueous or liquid okay so if the acid is aqueous is in aqueous so if the acid is in aqueous it will form h plus m so if acid is in liquid form it won't form h plus m so that's why uh, we should ignore h a okay so here is another thing to say that the reaction is due to h plus m so we can't use h a here okay so we should ignore this thing in the exam so we better ignore this thing ignore okay ignore h plus okay in this type of ionic equation 
so in here there is another thing that they have asked us to write the ionic equation so we should write the ionic equation completely so for this is for acid this comes from acid and this comes from base okay so acid will give us h plus ion and base uh, base will give us this anion so it's in this case in this case this is hydrogen carbonate will give us water plus carbon dioxide so fellas this is it so i hope that you have understood the question as well as the answer so if you have any kind of question regarding this topic please let me know in the comment section i am happy to help you out okay so peace with chemistry bye bye